Hi everyone, in this video of mensuration, we are going to study about derivation of area of general quadrilateral and also will take up some questions related to it. So let's find out how the area of general quadrilateral is derived. We can find the area of any general quadrilateral say ABCD by drawing the diagonal AC. Let's take a quadrilateral ABCD and split it by drawing the diagonal AC. Therefore, we can say area of quadrilateral ABCD is equal to area of triangle ABC plus area of triangle ACD. This is what is shown in the given figure. Now, we know that the area of triangle is half into base into height. So, accordingly, we'll write half into AC into H1 for the first triangle and plus half into AC into H2 for the second triangle. Now we shall take half into AC common and we'll write half into AC in bracket H1 plus H2. Further, we will write half into D in bracket H1 plus H2 where D denotes the length of diagonal AC. Therefore, the area of general quadrilateral is equal to half into diagonal into sum of altitudes drawn on the diagonal from the other two vertices. So this is how we have derived the formula of area of general quadrilateral. Now we shall take up some solved questions related to it. Now let's take a first question. Find the area of the following quadrilaterals. Now there are three parts to this question. Let's start with the first part. We are given a general quadrilateral PQRS and we have to find its area. So the area of PQRS is equal to half into diagonal in bracket H1 plus H2. Further, we will write half into 7 in bracket 4 plus 3. Further, half into 7 into 7 which is equal to 24.5 centimeter square. Now let's take up second part. We are given the general quadrilateral ABCD and we have to find its area. So the area is equal to half into D in bracket H1 plus H2. Further, we will substitute the values and will write half into 6 in bracket 3.5 plus 2, which is equal to half into 6 into 5.5, which is equal to 16.5 centimeter square. Now let's move to the third part. In this part, we have to find the area of the given figure that is A, B, C, D, E. Now, this entire figure can be divided into two parts. The first part is the trapezium and the second part is the triangle. So, we have to find the area of trapezium plus the area of triangle. We know that the area of trapezium is equal to half in bracket A plus B into height and area of triangle is half into base into height. Now we shall substitute the values in this formula and we will get half in bracket 8 plus 12 into 2 plus half into 12 into 4. Further we will simplify and we will write half into 20 into 2 plus half into 12 into 4. Further we will solve and we will get 20 plus 24 which is equal to 44 centimeter square. Now let's move to the second question. Find the area of the following polygons. Now there are two parts to this question. Let us start the first part. We are given the figure PQRST and we have to find its area. We can divide this figure into two parts that is trapezium and triangle. Therefore the area of polygon PQRST will be equal to area of trapezium PRST and area of triangle PQR. Now, further we will write their formulas. We will write half in bracket A plus B into H plus half into base into height. Further, we will substitute the values and we will write half in bracket 10 plus 6 into 4 plus half into 10 into 5 which is equal to half into 16 into 4 plus 25, which is equal to 32 plus 25, 
which is equal to 57 centimeter square. So, the area of the given polygon PQRST is equal to 57 centimeter square. Now, let's move to second part. We have to find the area of the given polygon ABCDEF. Now, this entire polygon can be divided into three parts. The first part is the triangle, the second part is the quadrilateral, and the third part is again a triangle. So, now the area of the polygon ABCDEF will be equal to area of triangle EFT plus area of quadrilateral BCDF plus area of triangle ABF. Further, we will write their formulas and we will write half into base into height plus half into diagonal in bracket height 1 plus height 2 plus half into base into height. Now, we shall substitute the values. We will write half into 5 into 2 plus half into 7 in bracket 4 plus 4 plus half into 6.5 into 2. Further, we will solve and write 5 plus 28 plus 6.5, which is equal to 39.5 centimeters square. So, this is how we have solved questions related to general quadrilateral. Thank you, everyone.